Nearly one in three women have been abused in their lifetime, according to the United Nations. And in times of crisis, the numbers rise, as seen during the COVID-19 pandemic and recent humanitarian crisis, conflicts and climate disasters. To shed more light on the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women, I'm now joined by an activist, Dorothy Edet. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on News Now. Uh, when it comes to violence against women, uh, we still hear a lot of people say the issue is often exaggerated or even overflowed. I talk to us basically what really constitutes domestic violence and violence against women. Okay, thank you for this opportunity you've given to me and um, uh, choosing me out of other survivors to actually speak to you. Uh, if I want to mention what constitutes violence against girls and women, one is uh, patriarchy. You know, we live in a society that men are everywhere and they just see women as inferior you don't believe women can become something and another thing is societal uh, norms they don't believe that a woman should actually fulfill her destiny a woman is worthy they see a woman to be um let me say a woman is and they still see her to be a second class citizen which is not supposed to be so and then there's no information even when information is still flowing violence is still ongoing in our society so causes of gender-based violence we can talk about anger inability to man manage your anger as as an individual you know when we talk about violence people think violence is only uh violence is only meant or dawn on women alone. Even men go through a lot of things. So causes of violence also is lack of information, lack of how to know the person you're marrying or people around you and all that. So that's what I have to say for now. Now, now Dorothy, on the issue of advocacy, uh, women were once told to hide in shame uh, when violated. But over the years, uh, there's been constant advocacy around eradicating violence against women in particular. But how much of that advocacy is gaining ground from your perspective and assessment? It's really going well. Uh, for example, there were a lot of young people who couldn't speak out, you know around my vicinity as a result of stigma and uh, they don't want to you know they don't want to get themselves involved in things like that they move around they hated themselves just like me for example i i couldn't speak out i couldn't speak out i because uh, when this issue happened to me i was told to keep quiet if i want to start my story at age seven i was i was gang raped and what was i told i was told to keep quiet I was even blamed for being raped. And that was my first time of experiencing sex. And it was a forced sex. I was blamed. I was told you did not put on pants. Uh, you did not put on gowns. Why did you wear pants to go outside? I was just sent to go and buy bread. Nothing. Just bread. And they told me, don't tell anybody. At the age of 10, I went to stay with my uncle. He said, Dolly abused me from 10 to when I was 12 years old. You can imagine. And the wife knew about it just because she just wanted to sustain our marriage. She refused to release me after promising my mom that they are going to send me to school. They didn't send me to school. And by the time they realized that a copper was able to identify what was going on, and she told them then that she's going to report to the village head, which I did not even know the village head. They had to return me back home. Even the school, they didn't send me. And what did they ask me to say? Don't tell anybody. They had to drop salt on top of Bible and ask me to lick it. So when you continue telling us, don't tell anybody, it it, it, it turns us survivors to be very dangerous human beings. At age 14, I started smoking because I did not like who I was. I did not like the incidences that was going on in my life. At age 15, mom sent me to go and sell Gary because I really love education. I wanted to go to school. I was gang raped. I was selling banana and granuts. They finished eating the banana. They finished eating the granuts. They collected the money from me. And those three guys took turns to rape me. By the time I came back, what did they tell me? Don't tell anybody. Keep it to yourself. 
at age 20 i was gang raped again by ritualists age 24 a pastor said that i have, what i need is deliverance in order for it to be able to drive away the the uh, demonic husband that is spiritual husband that is causing this thing to happen to me he also raped me he raped me on sunday and on friday i was gang raped by thieves again and what did they tell me to do keep quiet don't tell anybody if you continue like this you will not get married that was why i finally made up my mind that i don't want to marry if it indeed, requires indeed, me activity authority uh, that you've really shared um a lot of issues um concerning um you know the culture of silence um, against women who have been violated but many thanks um activists and survivor uh, dorothy edit thank you so much for your contributions on news now